y'all welcome back or welcome to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing my monthly maintenance routine my self-care routine whatever you want to call it i've been doing this for a few months now maybe four months i started this routine but i didn't do it last month i don't i can't remember the reason why i never got around to doing like the whole thing last month but the new month is september 2nd so it's time to do it for this month so normally i do my hair my nails i do a full facial i get a pedicure wax my legs get my brazilian is that everything oh and sometimes I do my lashes so I'm gonna be doing all those things I'm doing everything myself besides uh, my Brazilian wax and my pedicure probably but yeah first thing I'm gonna start with is my hair I'm not gonna rewash my hair it's Saturday September 2nd today I washed my hair last weekend and I styled it and did this braid that y'all see but I'm just gonna take the braid out and attach another type of ponytail so I have these bundles right here so I'm just gonna wrap that around the braid around my hair so yeah I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna wax my legs I've had this wax warmer warming up in the meantime I got this off Amazon so I'll link that in my storefront. I got my wax strips cut that I got from Sally Beauty Supply. But yeah, that's good and hot and ready. So by the time I'm done with this, it'll be time to wax these legs, which the thing is already ready. So yeah, but I'm gonna do this first. I actually have somewhere to be today. It's 11.52, I have a funeral to be at at two o'clock, but we're gonna be there, get there at one. It's like 15 minutes from my house though. So I really need to be getting to it. But yeah, welcome to my monthly maintenance slash self-care routine. Take care of yourself. Like I said, I do majority of this stuff myself, so you ain't gotta like blow a bag to do these things either. And the hair that I got is synthetic, so you ain't gotta blow a bag to do a self hair routine and spend thousands of dollars and get tape ins and all this stuff here. I mean, if you wanna do that, cool, but you don't have to do all that. So let me take this braid out and then we'll start wrapping the bundles around my hair so we can move on to waxing these legs. Sorry, y'all, the ring thing keep going off the ring doorbell. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna be bobby pinning these bundles to my braid, my hair, and I'm not like gluing anything. I just body paint the hair that I have. I got it from Beast Plus probably some years ago because I haven't done one of these ponytails in a while. I used to wear ponytails all the time, like a couple years ago. So this isn't even fresh new hair, but I feel like it goes well with my wavy natural hair. <laughs> I usually wore bundles that was a tighter curl pattern, but I don't know where those are. So I'm wearing these. And when I do these styles, I, um, like when I start pinning, I pin the bundles going down. It's probably a bad idea to wear black, but I put the bobby pin going downward so if anything were to pull this it won't like pull the hair out I'm pulling it down so that this part can y'all see what i'm talking about the closed end of the bobby pin is closest to my head it's facing up i don't even know why i'm making it so hard to explain that so i'm just wrapping it real tight and then putting another bobby pin every few wraps or so Ooh, yeah, my arms tired. All right, there's two bundles in. I think I'm gonna need like one more. Y'all, it's my time of the month. My stomach hurts so bad. Like I'm cramping so bad. I have not cramped as bad in so long. So if my energy's a little low, forgive me. Y'all, I got 40 minutes to wax my legs, shower, and get dressed.
Okay, so now I'm gonna take a piece, of course, from the back to wrap around. Okay, hopefully that's in place. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> so now let's wax these legs. Try to anyway in like 10 minutes because it's 12.30 and I have to be ready by one o'clock. In the meantime, I'm going to tie my hair back down, spraying a little bit of water on it with my do-rag. So again, I got this wax warmer off of Amazon. I'll link it in my storefront, that's linked below. She's getting hot, so see how fast I can do this. At least do my lower leg, because my dress will be showing my lower leg. So at least get that much done if I don't get to the thigh. All my wax strips are cut, so I'm just gonna get to rolling and ripping. Let me apply the powder. Let me do a Swipe on a practice strip. Make sure it's rolling properly. Oh yeah, she is. She is good and hot. Okay, here we go. So I just roll it on like this. My hair grows this way, so I'm rolling it down. This strip ain't even long enough. Trying to brace myself, like this is a really long strip. I normally don't do them this long, but because I'm rushing, I'm trying to cover as much area as I can. Here we go. Oof. Can y'all see that? I know y'all see that out of here. Let's keep going. All right, then I'll apply some baby oil to get rid of all this sticky. All right, y'all, it's been like a week since we last spoke, but the last clip y'all saw, I waxed my legs and I did come back home and finish waxing like above my knee that I was telling y'all about because I didn't have time to do above my knee. So I did finish that that day, but that's all I've done. So it's been a week. I just refreshed my ponytail that y'all also saw me doing, but now we are about to go get our toes done. So that is the plan today. I also might do my facial today, facial and lashes and I couldn't do my Brazilian last week when I started this vlog because I was on my cycle. So I'm gonna try and get around to it this week. Anyway, I'm gonna get my pedicure right now. So let me show y'all the fit really quick. Here's the fit. I got this top on. I can't remember where this top is from. I did a haul and this shirt was in it. And then my skirt is from Fashion Nova. My bag is from Shein. And then I just have on these black sandals also from Shein. But yeah, I done took off all my polish and everything. So yeah, let's go. I'll probably get food first and then go. Yeah, because I'm hungry. So yeah, let's go girls. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, y'all, I just got my food. So I'm finna eat this before I go in here so I don't be hungry. I don't even know why I wanted Chick-fil-A today, y'all. I don't even eat Chick-fil-A for real. Like, I don't, Chick-fil-A is just not my spot. But for whatever reason, I had a little taste for it today, so I got me some. So I'm finna eat this and it will go inside. All right, I'm full now. Let's go. All right, y'all, I'm done. My toes are done. I don't usually have problems at this place, but I don't know if I'm coming back here because she really pissed me off. Like, And then I had grown my nails out so that they could be like filed evenly. Like this is fine. I don't know if y'all can see, but like this, this foot is fine. This one, y'all can't see because of the glare, but like, do y'all see this? Like she filed off way too much on this one. Like why the freak is it all the way down to the freaking nub? And then she still got like polish all on the outside. Like girl, what the freak? And that is not the word I wanted to use. And then I even told her like she was painting. She didn't even paint the whole nail. Like the side of my nail, the side of my big toe had no polish on it. Like on the whole side. Girl, can you not see? And I was like, um, there's no polish right here. Like girl, I should just did it myself. But anyway, toes are done, I guess. That really pissed me off. And usually when I go here, I have one of the guys do it. I've never had a woman when I come here. I've always had one of the men do it. Anyway, toes are done. I'm gonna go home. <laughs> okay, hey y'all, it's a new day. I'm gonna finish up my routine today. So right now I'm prepped to do my facial, which is what I'm gonna do, then my nails. And then after this, I'm gonna go get my Brazilian wax. So yeah, I just got on my little headband. I have my do-rag on over my hair so I don't mess my hair up with this thing. So first things first, I'm gonna fill up my steamer. I'm gonna open up my pores while I'm cleansing my face. I got this off of Amazon. I don't know if I'm gonna link this if it's not already linked to my storefront because I really wanna find a better one. It's nothing wrong with this one. I just feel like it don't steam as much or like it don't produce like a lot of steam. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And I'm also gonna put these on my wrist to keep water from running down my arms. Y'all know how you be washing your face and stuff and the water run all down. Ooh, I hate that. So yeah, I got these off Amazon as well love these so first things first is i'm going to be cleansing obviously and i'm using this pharmacy clean b cleanser i got this off amazon it's the ultra gentle facial cleanser and i'm going to be cleansing my face using my sonic facial cleansing brush it vibrates you can turn up the vibration so yeah step number one I pretty much got all of these products, majority of these products off of Amazon, so I'll link them in my storefront. I don't know necessarily what stores may sell any of these products, but I ordered them all for the most part, but I'll link what I did get off of Amazon. And I'll tell y'all what I did get from Amazon and what I didn't. And it just died as soon as I finished. Look at that. Now I'm just gonna wipe this off. I also like to go over my lips a little bit, like to exfoliate my lips and get off any dead skin. I don't do like a lip scrub or anything like that. A washcloth works just fine. So next step, I'm going to be double cleansing with my DHC deep cleansing oil. I got this off Amazon as well. And I'm going to apply this and shave my face as well. Dermaplane, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to find my little razor. I don't have one of those like facial razor things, like with the guard on it and all that stuff. Whatever it is, I got like the straight up blade. If I can find it. I know I ordered some blades too off of Amazon, but I don't know where they at. I ordered like a whole pack of them. I'm trying to find one that I had over here. This is the razor that I had, the blade that I used. I have to figure out where these came from. When I figure it out, I'll put it in the description box. But I'm just gonna apply this oil cleanser. My hands are clean. I 
Okay, I'm just gonna be taking my blade and shaping my face. This is also the step where I like shape up my eyebrows too. And I've been dying to do this because my eyebrows are out of control at the moment. So I'm just gonna be pulling my skin up. And this thing is sharp, y'all. Like it is very easy to cut yourself. When I first started using them, I was slicing myself like crazy, but. If you do get like a straight up blade, be very careful. If you don't have an oil cleanser for like shaving your face, Vaseline works as well. That's what I use. Um, it helped a lot with not slicing my face open. So if you don't have like an oil cleanser, apply some Vaseline. Okay, my steamer done cut off, so I guess all the water's gone. But yeah, I'm just gonna be doing this all over my face. Also, if you're a makeup girl, shaving your face, I don't know, just makeup goes on so much better. my face and you can know that you hairy yeah <laughs> look at all that y'all Mm. So now, I pretty much gone over my whole face. I don't like do my sideburns and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna shape up my eyebrows. I'm kinda already got my little mini unibrow. So I'm just gonna shape them up. I'm just gonna clean up the area around it first. So then what I do is trim them. I brush the hairs up like this. And then I just kind of trim and even them out with like my eyebrow shape. I don't know how to explain that. I brush them up and then I trim. I don't know if y'all can see like these hairs. That's kind of, I can't really face y'all on this side. But like these hairs are like super long. So I brush them up. like that and then I'm gonna do the other side I don't know if y'all can see what I mean but like these little these little stragglers that's like sticking out I trim those up okay and then I brush them down and do the same Thing. So just basically like trimming it to where it's even with the shape of my eyebrow. Like, you know what I mean? Like you see, like I'm brushing these down. So I basically want to cut this off. You see what I'm saying? And I just brush them back up. And then I'm gonna have to clean up under these with the razor because I didn't go underneath my eyebrows with the razor yet, but I'll get there. I'm just trimming them right now. I do not tweeze. I got my eyebrows waxed once and it actually turned out really good. I don't know why I've never been back. Oh yes, I do. My skin was like irritated after. I don't know why if I did something wrong, like as far as aftercare, like you know how when you get Brazilians, they tell you to exfoliate. I don't know if that had anything to do with it because I hadn't been exfoliating that much around that time. So I don't know if that had anything to do with why my skin reacted the way it did, I guess. I just hadn't been back because of that, but she actually did super good.
Okay, and boom. And now my face is all smooth and my eyebrows are trimmed up and all that good stuff. I still like to keep um, a good bit of fullness to my eyebrows. They just be getting out of control and they start growing out. I also got my eyebrows laminated once, which I really like that too. I might buy the kit on Amazon to do it myself. I like how it turned out. So now I'm going to wipe this oil cleanser off my face. wipe everything off and get off any excess hair and i'm applying a little bit more of that oil cleanser to my face to gua sha i'm about to gua sha so it can have some glide to it so my gua sha i got off amazon as well this helps with puffiness reducing puffiness really like making your face look snatched promotes lymphatic drainage as well make your face look snatched so i'm just going on my cheekbone area and going towards my ear. And I do the same thing on my jawline. I just do this for like two to three minutes on each side of my face. And I'm just gonna wipe off the oil cleanser. So now I'm going to apply some under eye patches and a face mask. And I'm actually gonna do my nails while the mask sits. So we'll do that, I'm jumping around a little bit. But I'm using these under eye masks. I got these off Amazon as well. These are the Crystal Collagen Gold Eye Masks. I apply these. I leave these in my little refrigerator back there. Um, so I apply these. We're gonna let these sit for 15 minutes. Normally, I would apply one of these masks. I get these from H Mart. It's a Korean grocery store. I get like this brand. I just get like the different ones. So normally I would apply this on top of this, like over my whole face, and then I would gua sha. But because I'm not using this today, I did the gua sha with my cleansing oil instead. Instead, the mask I'm gonna be applying to my face today is a new mask that I got, which I also don't know how good of an idea it is to do this after I just shave my face because it is an enzyme mask and it is pretty strong but anyway this is the mask i got off amazon it's a pumpkin enzyme mask yeah it's like to clean out your pores and like help with acne and all that good stuff and for whatever reason i've been breaking out a lot recently i don't know why because i normally don't break out too too much i do have my moments but i've been breaking out a whole lot so again i don't know how safe it is to use this after i shave my face but we're gonna go for it anyway it smells like pumpkin. I know it says no open wounds and I know my skin may be a little irritated, but I don't think I cut myself at all. But anyway, I'm just gonna apply this and we're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna do my nails while both of these sit. I have press on nails, so it's not gonna take that long. And as some of y'all already know, I make my own press ons. And sometimes I do buy some from like Dollar General when I don't feel like making any. I just get like a basic French tip set or a nude set. But I did make the set that I'm putting on today. Um, I'm gonna show you guys it in a minute, but if you want a tutorial on it, let me know because I didn't film me making the nail. I'm just gonna film me doing my nails, like putting them on, you know? But they're really cute, very much fall. Y'all know it's that season, so I wanted to do a fall set. This is burning. <laughs> this is burning. He is definitely tingling. It also said you may experience some redness with this, but ooh wee. Okay, maybe it wasn't a good idea to do this. I should have just stuck with my regular sheet mask today since I did shave my face, so probably wasn't a good idea to do that. Don't do that. I know they said it was strong, but it is stinging like right here, and it was stinging right like down here. Yeah, it's kind of starting to stop, but don't do that because I don't know if that's supposed to happen or what. Like, I know they said it's strong, but again, Jesus. Okay, moving on. All right, so while this sits for 15 minutes, I'm going to be doing my nails. So let me move y'all over here. All right, y'all, so this is my nail set that I'm doing for this month. Y'all see it's a tortoise print. I was selling press-ons at one point. I had a tortoise print set. The full nail was tortoise print. 
but yeah these i decided to do french tip tortoise print and these are duck nails but i cut them down short they're the same duck nails that i use for my birthday press on so um, i just cut them down real short but yeah this is the set tortoise print i got little gold flakes around the french tip but yeah if y'all want a tutorial on that set let me know but i don't do anything super crazy with my press ons i literally just first i'm going to trim all my nails down because my nails have grown out All right, next I'm gonna push back my cuticles. I don't do all that drilling and cutting cuticles. I don't know nothing about that. And I'm also terrified of cutting myself cause you know, when they do that at the nail salon, that junk burns when they cut you like trying to cut your cuticles. So yeah, I'm just pushing them back. That's all I know to do, shoot. now I'm going to take my buffing block and just buff the surface of the nails just to remove the shine and it also helps your press-ons last longer to do these steps if you have trouble with your press-ons not lasting you're probably not doing these things or not doing them right This angle is really bad because I feel like y'all are really close, but I don't have anywhere else to put y'all. Okay, boom. And now I'm taking an alcohol prep pad. I got this off of Amazon. I also got those buffing blocks off of Amazon. Cleaning the nails, getting all the dust off, and like drying out the surface pretty much so that again your nails last longer let me find another way to turn y'all let me see i'll turn you this way so i'm taking my kds nail glue got this off of amazon as well and now i'm just applying the press ons another tip to do the thumbs last just applying a little dot i like to make sure i get around the cuticle then you want to do a good firm press for like 20 seconds And then we do the thumbs last. Okay, so nails are done. I honestly hate these duck nails from Amazon because like these, for whatever reason, this particular shape does not like form to the shape of your nail bed. Like it's like too wide open. Like they're not curved enough to where it, like it don't lay flat on your nail bed all the way like it be like sticking up in some areas and that's really annoying like the other shapes i have don't do that but the duck nail one does and it's really annoying um i really wanted to try that hack that i saw on tiktok where you like take acetone and put around the cuticle area to make it like blend better so it doesn't look so bulky and press on y because that's what it's looking like right now i also really don't care because you know, like from a distance doesn't look that bad but anyway I'm gonna take these off and wipe off this mask. I'm gonna have to get my Brazilian wax tomorrow because it's 6.30 and the place closes at seven. And I thought I'd be done with all of this by then, but <clears throat> I'm not. All right, so now I've wiped off all of the face masks. So now I'm gonna apply some witch hazel as my toner just the equate brand i don't know where this came from it was already in the bathroom but i'm pretty sure you can get it like walgreens or something like that i'm just applying it to a cotton pad and this helps improve your skin's radiance make sure you go down your neck with your products and your ears
All right, so now I'm gonna be applying all of my serums. The first one I'm gonna start with is the La Roche-Posay Vitamin C Serum. This is from Amazon. And uh, vitamin C just helps brighten your skin. The next serum I'm applying is this Pharmacy Vitamin A Retinol Serum. I got this from Amazon as well. And retinols help firm your skin and fight wrinkles. So I definitely apply this under my eyes and just everywhere else. Especially like smile lines and places where wrinkles tend to try and form, you know. All right, next step, snail mucin. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen this and heard about this one all over TikTok, the Chorus X or whatever the brand is called, snail mucin. And I apply this right before my moisturizer. Y'all see it's a little slimy. And this is just to hydrate your skin. Okay, next I'm applying my moisturizer. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I got this off Amazon as well. This is my moisturizer. With your moisturizer, you are obviously moisturizing your skin and strengthening the skin barrier and plumping your skin. And the last step to your skin routine, regardless of what you do, is SPF. I'm using the Super Goop Glow Stick SPF 50 and also the Super Goop Lip Screen to protect your skin from the sun. Do it again. I'm an Arab for you. Who is she beauty? Limited time, watermelon, lip gloss. <laughs> limited time. It's not limited time. As you can see here, you got some black lips. Black? Yeah. You're a black woman, ain't you? Oh, uh, I thought you were saying my, like the color of no. And that, That's ladies and germs, I am talking! Is my facial routine <laughs> all right y'all so it's the next day so i'm about to go get my brazilian like i said yesterday and then we'll finally be done with the whole routine i'm not gonna do my lashes i don't say sometimes i do my lashes i don't always do lashes when i do my routine i'm really not in a lash mood this month so i'm probably not gonna do the lashes but yeah it's the last thing and we'll be done so let me take my do rag off and let's go All right, I got my wax, so that is it for my monthly maintenance routine if you enjoyed the video leave a comment if you have any more suggestions on what you do for your routine leave them below but that is it i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in my next video bye